Welcome back everybody, this is Oasis back with another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can emulate Ionic Project to your Android simulators. So first of all, we want to install a couple of things. So first thing we need is Android Studio. Basically, Android Studio is an IDE created on the top of JetBrains IntelliJ by Google. And this is the IDE used to develop Android mobile applications. So we're going to have to install this. I've already installed that. I'm going to show you what else you need to do to be able to emulate your projects to Android simulators. So I'm starting Android Studio and once the Android Studio is, uh, is up and running, we will go to AVD Manager and then we'll create some simulator devices. So here, our Android Studio is running. Now, I'm going to uh, basically close this Android Studio project. And I want to show you, you might have to create a project when you start your Android Studio for the first time. Uh, that should be fine. Uh, but let's just close this project and then let's open Android Studio. And this is what you're going to see. You won't see these projects here. So you might have to create a new blank project. And then once you create a new project, you will be able to go to AVD Manager. So I'm just going to go and I'm say learning Android project. That's fine. And now once I'm in a project, I'll go to tools and here I will see AVD Manager. First of all, obviously, you need to install SDK, which in get installed uh, automatically, at least one SDK when you install Android Studio. But here you can see you have an Android P version, Android 8.1. So I've installed pretty much from Android Lollipop to uh, the latest Android P uh, preview. Uh, so I've already installed all SDKs. This is what you want to do. You want to basically check to install an SDK. So here you can see I don't have a Kit can install, jelly beans install, I don't have these things installed. So once you finalize your SDKs, then you will go to tools and you'll click on AVD Manager. And then inside your AVD Manager, this is what you're gonna see. You might not see any of these uh, virtual devices. So what you will have to do is you will have to click on create virtual device you'll see this dialog box and then here you can select devices basically nexus devices uh, which are built from which are built by google and then you can select a version of android you want to run on that so in this case i have this nexus 5x nexus 6 and pixel so let's just do pixel 2 and then we will do next and then here because I have downloaded these SDKs then I can select one of the software that I want to run on that so I'll do I'll select Oreo 27 I'll just click next and here I want to modify uh, the name so I'll just say pixel 2 dash 27 I guess so I'll just go finish now, once our device is ready, actually, let me go and rename this. So I'll just go edit. And I don't need to specify 27. So finish. That's fine. Then you can even close your uh, Android Studio. I'm just going to close that. Now, in your terminal or in your PowerShell, uh, let me just expand it. So here, we want to basically uh, say Ionic. Cordova emulate Android and then we do dash dash list list is a flag which will tell you all your simulators available on your Mac or PC so here you can see we have Nexus 5x Nexus 6 pixel pixel 2 so I'm going to emulate on pixel so similarly with iOS like we did in the last video we can do ionic Cordova emu late android and then dash dash target is equal to i can say pixel press enter now it's going to build this project 
and make it ready to emulate on uh, Pixel. Now you can see a lot of uh, processing happening. It says Android Studio Project detected. Yes, Android Home detected. Now you gotta make sure that you uh, basically add your Android as a platform, which I've shown you in a second video in this series, guys. So once you add that, and then you see a lot of processing happening, and our emulator should be up and running. The first time you uh, make an emulator up and running, it takes a bit of time, so I'm just going to pause the video. At the bottom, you can see build successful in 33 seconds, and here is our emulator. So I'm just going to bring it to this screen. It's in actually loading state right now, so this is what you see a black kind of terminal and then you just bring your emulator here let's say close app now this is basically an emulator uh, which is going to get our project up and running now it's it's basically too big for this so I'm just gonna stop that and let's start it again let's let's just start that again uh, hopefully it will run on this uh, screen because I have a 4k screen and then this uh, 1080p screen is causing an issue okay so our emulator is running I reduced the size so here you can see that our emulator is up and running and our application is emulating on that Alright, so yeah, let's uh, let's continue in the next video guys.